What's up YouTube? So today I want to talk about the new oscillator pitch modes in Serum 2. So this probably sounds pretty boring or nerdy, but trust me, this is actually really, really cool and actually not too hard to wrap your head around. So previously in Serum 1, the oscillators were basically limited to a pitch range of plus 4 octaves and minus 4 octaves. You could do some stuff with the course to kind of get a bit of extra range, but you were pretty limited, right? In Serum 2, they've added this new pitch mode. Well, actually two new pitch modes. One is called harmonics and one is called ratio. So today I want to explain both of these and why I think that this is really, really cool. So harmonics kind of functions very similarly to like if you've used phase plant before, how that uh, harmonics uh, ratio system works, where the harmonic, this parameter here, is basically a multiple of the incoming signal. So this is basically a multiple of whatever pitch the note is tracked to on the keyboard. So this already expands the pitch range of the oscillators quite a lot. A really simple example would be something like a growl. We could do it by um, creating a sine wave and then we could just create something like that, which would create something in a higher octave. But that workflow is a little bit clunky um, and maybe not as intuitive. So here, just the ability to be able to quickly switch this harmonic ratio is really, really cool because, yeah, it just way expands the pitch range. And for stuff like uh, growls or sign compression bass sounds, this is particularly special. So I don't know what it is about harmonics like 10, 11, 12, around that region, which just sounds really, really good for bass sounds. But quickly, what I want to do is just add some distortion. Uh, let's actually go with two distortions because I do like to kind of stack them a little bit, maybe the diode one or two, and stacked with the soft clip. Um, and then let's add a compressor, multiband. Do you see how the diode, it gets that crunch? We don't want to get that much, somewhere in the 30% region. Okay, cool. So now let's just increase the volume of this oscillator so we can hear what it sounds like. And let's go LFO. Let's maybe go a bit down on this. There we go. And that's just modulating that volume of that oscillator in, right? So let's change this harmonic. You can think of it as a multiple or almost like a ratio, um, which is kind of similar to the ratio setting, but I'm going to explain why I think that one is truly special. But here, for example, this would be, um, so like one would be the same frequency as the first. It's not one octave up, right? And then two would be, it's not, it's not linked, but two would be the note times two or like the next octave up. Three would actually be the note times three. So it's like the fifth in the next octave. So it's actually the G, right? And four would be the third octave, right? So it might be a little bit confusing, but at the end of the day, each of these numbers here is kind of harmonically relevant to the note. So it kind of doesn't really matter what you smash it to here. You kind of kind of always get these really cool growly sounds. Okay, 
Okay, so what I like to do is like after this rack, I like to put something like either an EQ or a filter. And then let's just cut out some low end. And then give it some reverb. And we've made a nice big growly hit sound. Okay, that is sick. So again, like I said, um, this was possible with Serum 1, but it just wasn't as elegant to set up, right? You know, we weren't able to just quickly just smash um, an integer number and it's always gonna hit something that sounds good. You had to create these uh, wavetable morphs that had all those different octaves in it and it didn't always quite work very well. So yeah, that's a really, really cool way of using the harmonics mode. Okay, so let's talk about ratio. So ratio is kind of similar, except you have this source setting. So what the source is, is basically setting which of the oscillators it's using as its a uh, base multiplier. So for example, if we add another oscillator here and we set this to ratio, let's actually just set this to traditional semitones mode and this one to ratio. And then let's set the source to oscillator A. So this ratio here would kind of be similar to that harmonic setting, but it's always gonna be locked to the pitch of this. So if we modulate this, this is gonna kind of follow along with it. Uh, let me just turn this down a little bit. Uh, let me add a quick distortion, soft clip. So basically the same thing, right? And then we can just set the ratios but then it'll always follow this pitch. So if we're doing any kind of sequencing or anything like that, that's pretty interesting. But where this truly, truly shines is in FM and any kind of like audio rate modulation setups. Let's say for example, again, you could do this in Serum 1, but it, it was just more of a setup pain in the butt. Whereas here we can do stuff like, let's just use traditional PD, which is the uh, Serum 1 type uh, style FM. Uh, let's actually just turn this distortion off. I want to set up an envelope to modulate that beginning of that sound, but then another envelope to actually modulate the pitch. So here I actually want to set it to unipolar. And then we can give it a nice tight envelope. And this is a nice way of creating kind of like metallic kind of sounds, check that out. So kind of like a uh, glossy metallic gamelan type of things. And it really works nicely with very high pitches of the modulator oscillator. So again, just being able to expand that pitch range in Serum just really, really um, changes it, uh, sets it apart from Serum 1. And what we can also do is we can do stuff like modulate just the fine tune, for example, like the Hertz ever so slightly, but the kind of bass will still be locked in. So here, let's set up like an LFO. Let's just reset the actual control itself. And let's say, set this one to bipolar. So it's going both up and down. And let's give this like a random. but then we can give it a bit of rise. So at the transient, it's 
at the transient, it's uh, nicely in key, but then as it resonates out, it kind of like wobbles a little bit. Let's just change the amount, just so it's a bit more subtle. And then we can also set this envelope, main envelope, so that it's more of a plucky sound. And what we can also do is we can give uh, some velocity as the this modulator's auxiliary source, we can set to the velocity. Just so that at lower velocities, it doesn't bite as much. And we can also give this volume a bit of velocity as well. And that's like before we've even added any effects, you know, it's already sounding so nice. Uh, let's go with a one over eight dotted ping pong. Let's give it some reverb. I think this first envelope that we set up can be a bit tighter. And then again, because it's kind of like set up this way, no matter what sort of round number we leave it on, it'll kind of always sound pretty decent. We can also even just modulate that level at the transient. Maybe not so much. Let's try FM, but with the same setup. Okay. I think that's about it. I think that about sums up everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I'm gonna be uploading those first two presets, that kind of growl and that kind of like uh, plucky sound to my Patreon for all my $5 supporters. So if you wanna know what that's all about, check out the link in the description. And yeah, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Cheers.